What's going on, y'all? Made it on the flight. Uh, luckily, I got an exit seat. That is amazing because I hate being all cramped up on a plane. Granted, it's only like a two and a half hour flight to San Diego. So, I mean, to uh, Dallas, which is where I'm stopping from right to Texarkana, Arkansas. Uh, so it's like a two and a half, three hour flight and then literally like a 30 minute flight for the next one. So, update you guys once I get there. All right, y'all, we finally made it to Texarkana. It was a long adventure, won't lie, I'm tired. Drained. That little tiny plane that I just got off of wasn't that good of a time, but now I'm heading to the nursing home to go be with my great grandma. What's going on, y'all? So, uh, I've officially made it to my great grandmother's property here in Arkansas. I was hoping I'd get to see her before she passed away, but unfortunately, um, right after I boarded my flight from Dallas to Texarkana, uh, she passed away while I was in the air. But, you know, it happens, it's life, so at least I'll be able to be here for her funeral, so that's really nice. Um, but I mean, like I said, she was 95 years old, she had a great life, uh, and I'm sorry again, this is a sad vlog for a second vlog ever on YouTube, but I figured I'd just be honest with you guys uh, for why I'm here and whatnot. I figured I could give you guys a quick tour around her property. Um, it's 100 acres, so I'm not gonna see the whole thing today, but between today the next few days I should be able to show you guys a decent part of it and maybe be able to find a couple cool animals too. You know, there's armadillos here, there's a lot of snakes, turtles. Uh, we actually just saw deer but I didn't have my camera with me. So yeah, let's just take a look around. Well, right now we're kind of in the back. I'm not starting off in the most ideal place. But that's the back of her house right there and the little shed that's in the back. Little crab apple tree. This used to be chicken coops. Right here, obviously, it is all overgrown. I hope you guys can hear just like the amount of life that's back here, it's insane. Here's the bigger barn. As you guys can see, the really cool old Jeep in here. Uh, I might try to find a way to get this Jeep back out to San Diego with me really cool I love it There's another little shed right there and if I sound out of breath I'm sorry it's about 90 degrees and probably 90% humidity right now and again I live in San Diego we're not used to humidity so it's a little bit rough got another shed the really cool old tractor I might try to take some cool pictures of this later. But as you can see, that thing is pretty sweet. But underneath here. Nope, nothing there. I know there is a lot of uh, scorpions, snakes, things like that, and then these mud wasps. I am petrified of bees, so it definitely sucks to have them here, but let's continue the tour. Honestly, I don't know what this thing is. Not 100% sure. There was just a bunch of deer right here. And now, of course, that I have my camera, I don't see them. I don't know. Let me guys know. Do you see the deer anywhere back there? A couple more barns over there. Now, I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's all the pond that she owns. There, that is my good Mama Bee's house. A cool thing, that tree right there is actually a pecan tree. Uh, so we always get fresh pecans from there. It's really nice. But that's probably it for today, y'all. It's been a long and kind of stressful day. So I'm gonna sign out for the vlog for here, but Thank y'all for watching, I appreciate it. What's going on guys? We're here at White Cliffs National Park, or White Cliffs Regional Park. I'm not sure which one it is. I'll make a edit so you guys know. Um, but we're just gonna look around, see if we can find some cool animals. Um, I've been here before, I've seen anything from alligators to armadillos, a copperhead, and I've seen a rattlesnake, rattlesnake here, uh, as well as some lizards and some other snakes that I've just seen from a distance but not been able to get close to. So 
hopefully we can find some cool animals and I'll be able to show you guys some cool stuff. I really want to see an alligator. Uh, I've seen them a couple times when I've been here, but not all too many, I think. <sighs> Excuse me. Out of all the times that I've been here, I've maybe seen two. Oh, God. Um, so hopefully we can find something cool. Say hi to mom, everyone. That is my lovely mom. So this is White Cliffs, leads down to this, which is called the Little River. Um, and it's called White Cliffs because down a little bit further, you probably saw a video clip of me looking down onto the river. All of the cliff edges are completely white. Um, but you can see some people doing some fishing right there on a boat. Just trying to see if we can spot a gator or anything cool. All right, y'all, see you guys in a little bit. Still trying to find an alligator for you guys. Unfortunately, I just talked to a couple of the locals that actually live here, and they said that gators don't really come out until nighttime or like dusk. So we might try to come back here at night. Let me know, maybe you guys saw something in the water that I didn't see. If you saw anything cool, let me know in the comments below where it is in the video. I'll go back and look and see if I can confirm what it is. But, just so y'all know, that I'm not BSing you guys, this sign right here, proof of concept, warning, beware of alligators. Alrighty guys, so I'm not sure if you can see it, but there is a little armadillo right here. I don't think he knows that I'm here yet. Oh, he just saw me. You guys can see him. He's a little tiny guy. There he is, just eating away. So cool. So guys, I'm taking this with my phone because I don't have my vlog camera with me, but we're in an old abandoned house. You can see there's probably 30 or 40 bats in this room. One cool thing I forgot to show you guys that this house has is a tornado shelter which is convenient because right now there's a tornado warning. If you look at the sky, it's pretty scary. Supposedly it's gonna be 60 mile an hour winds and golf ball sized hail. So that's great. This is the shelter from the top. Kinda looks like a dude with some long hair. How's it looking there, Uncle Jerry? Dry as a bone. Dry as a bone? I got one right here. Kinda. There you go. This is the tornado shelter. Very cool. 